Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, we will be talking about how you're able to play Fortnite on your Samsung Galaxy devices with an Xbox One S controller. Now, if you are new here at the channel of Jimmy is Promo or you did not hit that subscribe button just yet, make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you don't miss future videos for the Galaxy Note 9. And don't forget about that playlist tab so you can check out all the different videos made so far surrounding the Galaxy Note 9. So that was a small preview of playing Fortnite on the Galaxy Note 9 and the controller I was using was the Xbox One S controller. And if you don't have one of these just yet, I will place a link for this below the video so you can grab yours off Amazon. And also what I will be showing you later in this video is I will be connecting the Galaxy Note 9 to the small TV behind me with a cable that goes from the HDMI to USB Type-C. And again, this will also be a link below the video inside the description if you don't have one of those just yet. Now, I do wanna let you know a little bit of a backstory too with all the different controllers I've played with. So I tried it with the Xbox One S controller, which definitely came in first place, extremely accurate. Second place was the PS4 controller. For some reason with the joysticks, um, anytime I was trying to either move my head left or right or my body, um, or the direction, it pretty much overcompensated. So instead of me moving on the screen about maybe half an inch, my body turned a full 90 degrees. So for me, that just was not gonna work. You can try your PS4 controller if you would want to, but I found the Xbox One S controller was much better. And I've also tried four or five other different Bluetooth controllers made for Android. It just didn't really seem to fit the bill here. Um, so again, in this video, you'll know anything and everything you need to know about playing Fortnite with an Xbox One S controller, along with having it connected to an HDMI if you wanted to use this thing as the console with a TV. Um, and also don't forget, you are able to charge your phone wirelessly. So if your phone is about to go down uh, and you are using this cable here, you're not able to charge your phone with this, but place your phone on a wireless charging pad and you are able to charge your device at the same time. Now, the only thing I did not share is what was the overlay or what was the application that is used in order for you to actually play a touch screen game with a remote control. Now, in order for your Xbox One S controller to interact with a touchscreen game such as Fortnite on your Samsung Galaxy device, you have to go inside of the Play Store and search for an application that is called Octopus 64. So this one is called Octopus, but this one is the 64-bit, not the 32-bit, and it is for Fortnite. Once you go over here and you hit on install, then you are able to open. Now, one of the things you are able to do if you want to is you can either get this going first or you can go with your controller. Now, to pair your Xbox One S controller to your phone, just go into your phone Bluetooth and press on your Bluetooth button right over here on this controller. It's on the very top. Once you click that, it's able to search and find it and it actually pairs up extremely fast. Now, once you have your controller that is paired up, you have to go right here with this little add game. Once you add in Fortnite, now you're basically ready to go. So once you open up Octopus 64 bit, which again, you will not be going through the game launcher of opening up Fortnite. You do have to go through Octopus because this actually remaps basically a couple different touch areas that interacts with your controller. Now, once you open up Fortnite, then now you're able to pretty much play your game. Now, one of the things that you might notice on the screen is all these little circles. You have the left arrow. Here's RT. You also have your right arrow. Here's your up arrow, which actually on the D-pad, when you press up, this is the reload. If you remember in the game, this is where you have three different things in your storage that you're able to use. Usually your pickaxe, a gun, and potions, and everything else. So if you hit on the LBX, LBY, or LBB, which is going to be this button on the very top. So this is your first section the second option, and then your third option. Now there is one important thing I do want to mention before we actually get into the gameplay, which actually I will be connecting this with the HDMI cable to the TV behind me and I'll switch cameras so you can actually watch the gameplay. Since you kind of notice that on the screen is the remapping of all those different buttons. One of the things I do have to let you know is that if you look on the top of your notifications panel, you'll see that the Octopus mapping service is running. Now, if you want to turn this off, you do actually have to go inside of the Octopus application. And then on the very bottom right, hand side, you'll click on me, and then this is where you go to quit. And so now that overlay service is now turned off and you're ready to go about your day. So again, if you wanna hit on the game and get it launched, let's go inside of Octopus 64 bit. Let's go inside of Fortnite. Now let's get this thing connected to the TV behind me and let, let's watch a little bit of the gameplay. So here's simply, I connected the Galaxy Note 9 over to the monitor that was sitting right behind me. The nice thing about this monitor here is that it also has speakers. And I guess if you are interested in this monitor that I have here, I will also place the link for this in the description below the video as well. And I am using that little cable that goes from the USB Type-C over to the HDMI. And then all you'd have to do to 
start this up is going to be hitting on RB. So on the screen here, it says RB. This is where you have the letter B. This one is up, which is going to be to reload. You also have X. Here is the LT, so basically kind of like your shootings. Um, and then here's the LBX, LBY, LBB. Again, those are your things that you hold on to. So if you do want to switch it from your pickaxe over into a gun and then maybe a sniper, you'll be doing LBX, LBY, LBB, and then so on and so forth. Now here's what I like about this. Let's say that you are somebody who does not have the Nintendo Switch, maybe you don't have the Xbox, maybe you don't have a PlayStation 4 or anything like that. Uh, you just don't really have a lot of the consoles that is supporting with Fortnite. So the great thing about it is that you're actually able to have your Samsung Galaxy device and actually be able to play the game. And again, this is just the normal Xbox One S controller. Um, it does have the normal Bluetooth um, connectivities on the inside, and that's what is allowing you to actually play this game. So if I hit on that up, um, or if I should say the Y, it, it makes me jump and then when I hit on B this one right here will be able to let me crouch down and then if you want to pretty much open up your your building utensils you hit on B and so a lot of this is going to be self-explanatory when you are checking out the different grid if you want to check out your map um, you'll hit on the diagonal pad left um, and then that is able to show you where you're going and what you're about to do um, if you hit on any other button it will get you out of there so that when i hit on a this one i'm gonna hit on the right trigger and then to jump out it says that you have to press on y and so there that's how you're able to press on y if you want to have your parachute come back you can bring it back um, but we might as well just drop down and let's play a little bit of a gameplay here so you can see how this one is definitely accurate. So if I go left, right, left, right, left, right, this thing is just following along the way it's supposed to. Now, as an example, when I was playing with the PlayStation 4 controller, if I wanted to just do this, a small little movement um, with the little um, joystick, what happened was it turned me like this. It, it turned me a full overcompensation turn. Um, and then same thing with almost really anything else I was trying to do. So when I was trying to go through an alleyway with the PS4 controller, when I hit on that, it made me go all the way this way. It was it was actually super bad. So I don't know if maybe it was just my controller somehow. Um, you can try your luck with your PlayStation 4 controller uh, and write your comments below the video and let me know you know, if that has worked for you guys. Um, also too, let me know in the comments below, do you have a console that has Fortnite on there or do you kind of see yourself really only playing it with the Galaxy Note 9? Um, and again, if the battery does start to kind of go down, here, check this out. Watch the screen and you'll actually see that it will um, pretty much connect when I put it onto my wireless charging pad. So if you check out that screen there, that fast little 32%, um, that was because I placed my phone onto uh, the wireless charging pad, uh, which you know for a fact I did not disconnect it because you can still see the gameplay on the screen. So really this is pretty much it. Um, you're able to basically jump around, crouch, you can build, you can do anything and everything you want to. Um, so this right here is just a, ooh. <laughs> And if you hear that, that's the vibration. So um, if you are playing this game and then you notice that there's a lot of stuff going on with vibrating, um, it's just because when you actually play with this game here, um, if somebody shoots you or if you shoot somebody else or if you're trying to break something down, you will hear that vibration. So pretty much this is everything I wanted to show you guys is that you do actually have support of playing Fortnite on your Samsung Galaxy devices with an Xbox One S controller. Again, if you wanted to, you can try other controllers. Write down in the comments below if you find another one that is just as good and solid as this one here. This one's super accurate. Uh, there's no lag, nothing else. Uh, outside of that, make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button. Share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. And don't forget to hit on that bell for notifications so you don't miss future videos. And I'll Outside of that, I'll see you guys later.